Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your dude Lorenzo coming at you once again with another video. Listen, you can't expect for God to remove the pain that you are experiencing right now when you refuse to remove yourself from the situation that's causing you this pain. All right, it's a lot of you right now that's praying to God and asking God, God, please remove this pain that I'm experiencing. Please remove the hurt. Please mend my broken heart. And guess what? God hears you. And he want to he wanna help you. He want to remove the hurt and the pain that you're experiencing. But because of your refusal to, to do your part by removing yourself from that situation that's causing all this pain and hurt, God is like, I don't know what I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I can do because they're not doing their part. They're not doing what they what they're needing to do. You know, and I get it. A lot of you are probably saying, well, hey, it's not that easy for me to remove myself from a situation that I've been in for so long. And, and, and it's hard for me to remove myself from something that, you know, that has already, you know, got me so strongly connected to it. I get all that, you know, but here's the thing. It's not that it's hard for you to remove yourself from the person. It's hard for you to remove yourself from what the person wants represented. That's what you're having a hard time removing yourself from because you want that experience back. You want to, you want that feeling of what it once represented. You know, and of course, anytime that you get in something that's brand new, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna represent beautiful moments, perfect, perfect moments, blissful moments. Absolutely. And who doesn't want that? But somewhere along the line, for some reason, all those blissful moments just stop. All those perfect moments just stopped. All those happy moments became bad moments, you know. But because of that little hope that's still on the inside of you that's, that's, that's expecting for things to change and that's wishing for things to change, all you're doing is draining yourself. You're exhausting yourself, you know. That's why a lot of you don't have anything left, you know. So by the time things may decide to change, you don't have anything left. You have nothing left to get because you've been trying to give it all when, when things were going wrong. So here's the thing, if you really want to heal, if you really want God to remove the pain, then you must first do your part. The healing process starts with you. You got to do your part, you know, and the part is you got to be strong enough to say, hey, I can't do this. Enough is enough. Be strong enough to remove yourself from that situation. You can do it. You just have to put it in your mind that, hey, healing is important to me. My health is important to me. And I'm going to do what's necessary in order to get better. That's, all, that's what it's all about. It's about getting better. And it starts with you. Let that marinate. Protect your peace. Guard your heart.